Now originally I had thought that Keem was just a senile old man. People say that he's only 38. However, 38 is quite old for for me. <laughs> that that does seem quite old. So there you go. But now after yesterday, um, I don't know, I don't know if you guys know what happened. Because maybe you don't check the Twitters as much. I want you to look at Keem's specific phrasing in this clip I'm about to play. Okay? I want you guys to pay very close attention. Earlier today, I got into a private call, talked to some YouTubers about some shit that happened with Pyro back in 2016 and how there's new information on it. And it's a private chat. And all of a sudden, you upload a video today saying, Oh yeah, Keemstar's working on some shit. Everybody, Keemstar's working on some shit. I was in a call with him, he was having a rant. What the fuck did you reach out to me and say, Hey, can I talk about this publicly? Truth be told, no one's really innocent. Including dumbasses like me who sent out the wrong information and don't fucking learn. You know, more stuff's gonna come out. I know Turkey Tom's cooking up something. Keemstar invited uh, some of us commentary channels to listen to his rants on Pyro where he's gonna talk about new information he has on him. Not once. Not at all. Not one bit. Not once. What kind of fucking snake shit is that? But okay. All right, you're that type of person. Okay, you won't be in any fucking DMs with me. You won't be in any group chats with me. You won't be in any fucking loops that I'm in, and I'm in bigger loops than you. Because you can't be trusted. You just take private information and tell everyone. He has a mini breakdown about Diesel stating that there will be a get-together of some sort with a bunch of commentators talking about new pyro stuff. Then he goes on to try to paint out Diesel to be some person that shouldn't be trusted who just leaks information or something. There's one problem with this though. Diesel says that he wasn't in the call and Keemstar doesn't deny it. That's problem number one. If Diesel wasn't in the call, then that means somebody in that call is someone you should be mad at. You shouldn't be mad at Diesel, you should be mad at whoever, whether it was one, two, or three people that ended up telling Diesel about your plans. That's who your anger should be directed towards. The way that you come off, the way that you conveniently pick certain things to run with throughout your entire career, at up to this moment even, kind of makes me think, well, let's do some deductive reasoning. The fact, to, to make it very short, sweet, and to a point, the fact that you are such a petty, vindictive person makes me think that maybe you already didn't like Diesel and this is just kind of an excuse for you to go at him and discredit him and shit on him and have a reason, a quote-unquote valid reason to not want to associate with him. That's how it seems to me because logically speaking you should be getting mad at whoever leaked the info from that private call to Diesel, not Diesel himself who wasn't in the call and who you can't even refute that point because uh, he's right, isn't he? And on the topic of, you know, YouTubers gathering together in a private call, why is that such a big deal? Keem, why are you making it such a big deal? Could it be that it's because Sen is always right? And when I say that you nitwits gather together to push a narrative and bounce ideas off each other maliciously at times to try to get traffic and clicks to your channel. Now see, it would be all good if whatever you guys were doing didn't affect somebody's personal life on a level like it is pyro right it would be all well and good you know you guys want to do the networking thing as long as you're not you know doing you know what you think is cool keem and what turkey tom thinks is cool and just throwing false pedo accusations or at least implying as much or painting the worst possible image for this person you know, as long as it's not that, then it's, I, I, I'd say, well, that's just business, right? But when you guys go and take it a step further, <laughs> you know, to that point, but it's okay, because Keem thinks it's cool to do that. Look at his past history. He, he does it, like, every fucking time. And Tom, <laughs> that's all I gotta say for him. So, you know, I know you guys think it's cool, but it, it's kind of fucked. It's just a little bit fucked. So that's when somebody should kind of take offense to it and, and look at it and be like, yeah, you guys are pieces of shit. And that's why Keem is, is making it a big deal because he knows that it's a little sus, you know, whatever whatever's being discussed or whatever's being planned in that secret private chat or private calls or any YouTubers. Uh, 
that's probably because you're getting ready to to form your narratives to push your new stories i'm betting you guys were doing a little bit of damage control in there too right keem oh my god uh what, what can we do all right yeah this is what we're gonna go with we're gonna push this new story and tom you're gonna do this or whatever perfect that's that's what you're doing that's what that's what you're giving us the impression because otherwise it'd be no big deal Right, you tra you treat it like it's the end of the world, like you're a guilty party, like you have something to hide, my man. So what is it? Well, what what malicious shit are you planning for Pyro this time? Huh? I wonder what the I wonder what it's gonna be actually, right? Because now it seems like you want to step up and you don't want to have your capo Turkey Tom do all the work for you. Keem, you're a petty vindictive person. I know you've hated Pyro since 2016. You probably still do, and you're just waiting for the right time to get at him. But you're doing what every fucking YouTuber does, and you're using a capo instead to do your work for you. In this case, you use Tom. But now Tom fucked up. Tom fucked up. Even Tommy C admits that Tom fucked up. What's Tom gonna do? Is it gonna double down? Or is it gonna walk it back? Who knows? Point is, your capo failed, right? And I don't think you trust that Tom knows how to handle this shit. That's why you're getting involved now for some damage control. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I mean some new information. <laughs> By the way, on the topic of these people being snakes, I want to point out that Diorio literally shat all over prison mate Luke, you know, discount Chinese food Luke, right? So it's really great to see the uh, remote one one person's video one day and then just throw it in the, in the <laughs> into the fire the other day. And look, you know, the Oreo's defense is going to be like, I never promoted prison mate Luke. Maybe he didn't. I know fucking Tom did. And then and then the whole thing is like, well, I'm not responsible for Tom act. Are you sure? Because we don't know now. You could have been in that private call that Keem was having, a, you know, a big, you know, <laughs> a meltdown over, right? Because obviously there's something going on in that, in that voice channel with you guys gathering together, that, you know. That it can't be let out, man, right? So we don't know. We don't know what you do. You know, you could pretend like you guys aren't working together, but you guys could be working together, right? That's the beautiful part of what Keem just did. He practically exposed every commentary channel and every network group, right? Because that's what you guys do. And I know you do this because I've been in chats like that. Because I know how you guys work. Why the hell do you think I was buried so much? Why the hell do you think people have worked so hard to discredit me, to smear me? It's because I know this shit. Dude, I know how you idiots work. To your credit, you're not that much of an idiot. I'm just throwing it as like an insult at this point. <sighs> Quite sad. Quite sad. But overall, I just want to say, Keem, you are indeed every bit the piece of shit snake that I had heard that you are. <laughs>